2015 Studios here on Channel Television, broadcasting live from Lagos, and of course uh, for our UK viewers, uh, you can reach us on Sky, Channel 575, and that's it uh, for you, Channel 24. Well, we're still uh, with uh, Professor Oshita Oshita, who is the Director General Institute of Peace uh, in Abuja. Very quickly, uh, Professor Oshita, uh, we're trying to look at the uh, essence, I hope uh, he's still very much there, we're trying to look at the National Peace Committee, headed by General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr, and uh, your institute seeing how well uh, these uh, messages coming from these two institutes as well as committee can help uh, drive the, the peace process. And uh, very quickly here, uh, uh, Captain Umar Ali, uh, looking at all of this, he said that we shouldn't, uh, we should be very, very careful as not to preempt uh, any kind of a crisis in some of these states. Without a mention of any state now, but there are some states we must keep close watch on as a security operative uh, uh, expert. What do you think on that? Yes, there are some potentially volatile states. And uh, on, the, on the general outlook, what we need to do is to have a benchmark, security-wise, countrywide. But those states that actually tend more towards flashpoints will get some extra attention. But there has to be a benchmark below which security should not be allowed to degenerate. Mm -hmm. And I think that should be able to take us through this home run. Okay, and uh, very quickly, uh, uh, time for us uh, to... Okay, he's back, uh, Professor Oshita. We're trying to look at the message of peace. So far, we must give it to all Nigerians, as well as your institute. And the Peace Committee, uh, headed by former uh, head of state, uh, Abu Salam Abu Bakr. What other message? Uh, because as our in-house uh, election consultant has said, uh, Captain Umar Ali, definitely there are some states that we want to look at more closely so that... Uh, we can keep the peace. What will be your message from the Institute? Our message from the Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution is that Nigerians should go out en masse to demonstrate uh, their peaceful conduct once more and also to ensure that they vote the right leaders and um, to, of course, show that what happened in the last elections of um, March 28 was uh, a, a deliberate, uh, you know, um, action in terms of the non-violent, uh, uh, I mean, um, uh, display. Yeah. Now we would like to say that only the living enjoy democracy dividends and that no one should put him or herself on harm's way for the ambition of another. It is not worth it. It's not worth the life of any human being. But well, anyway, I think we'll, we'll get back to you very quickly because we know Nigerians uh, from across the world, they are watching, they are listening, and uh, the, the, their responses are very, very key in this whole well, uh, uh, scenario. Uh, we'll be going over to our other studios uh, here to look at uh, the responses so far. And uh, Ine is right here with us. Uh, Ine, good morning. Good morning, Salah, and good morning all in the studio and to you at home. Well, I've come with your opinion and your comment, and I'm starting with Facebook. Well, the question that I posed this morning was, do you expect to see the, the similar voting pattern, you know, compared to the presidential? Do you expect to see the same um, voting pattern in the governorship election? And these are your responses. Well, we have, um, first of all, from... Um, Kaduna State, Abdul Majid Tijani Yusu says yes, that he expects to see the sa a change in the voting pattern in Kaduna State. While Otoni SP says the voting pattern will not be the same as March 28th. And I'm um, sure you comfort Bart says anywhere one party rules, there should be a change to another party. Well, I'm wondering, is it just about the change or is it about what the people think would be better for them? Well, we also have Amina Rinet Gamaliel says, honestly, I have no idea what to expect, but I would love to see the trending non-salary payment governors leave. They never mean well for their people. Well, it's up to you, Aminat, to go out and speak with your vote. 
And uh, Carlo says, yes, it changed, so we don't experience hiccups like the card reader and late coming of INEC official. Well, INEC has promised us that it's going to be a better outing tomorrow. So, I mean, Carlo expects to see a change in that area. And then Alabi Akim says, change will occur in some parts of the country, like Kaduna, Plateau, and Adamawa State. So, a change has different meaning to different people. I expect so many surprises and upsets. Well, we, ex we hope there are pleasant surprises. That's Deji Damilari Sonyaolu um, also sending his own message. And then we have a tweet from Babs Adek says, I think it's going to be tougher this weekend, but I hope the police will be really ready. Well, those are your messages. Please do send more of them. Um, what you expect to see? Do you think it's going to follow the same voting pattern as last week? Or do you think things will take um, another way? Also, your pictures and even videos are very important. And like if you have been following channels, uh, you would see that we've been making uh, sufficient use of it. So do send your pictures, send in your videos, send in your comments, and we're here to collate them. Back to you guys. Well, the good thing is that we can never be choked uh, off uh, an overdose of those pictures coming in from you as well as videos, so keep them coming in. A uh, very quick one here. Uh, 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 one of those uh, respondents spoke about uh, lateness of materials coming to polls, and uh, that, that brings us back to logistics uh, for this particular election. How can we get ourselves out of this, uh, well, deja vu <laughs> for tomorrow's election? Mm. I, I hope that INEC has learned some lessons, you know. Uh, I must also confess that in as much as there have been some uh, complaints about logistics, even at the last election, it is uh, a very significant improvement over what used to happen before. Everything was bad, you know. Let me just put it that way, uh, in the hyperbole. Uh, I know that here and there there might be some exception, but on the whole, it used to be very bad. But there have been some gradual improvement, not only because INEC itself is doing some in-house, you know, um, study and responses, but there is a demand from INEC to do the right thing, from an empowered electorate. So. When there is demand, just like you in the market, I have always looked at the marketing scenario as what we should graft into this electoral process. The consumer is the king, the voter is king in the electoral process. Okay? Now, if the demand from the electorate is that this be done, it has to be done because it is for them. So I believe that this particular uh, gubernatorial and the House of Assembly elections, INEC would go the extra mile to address and redress some of the problems or challenges that were uh, you know, observed in the last election. I believe that I, I was discussing with a friend that if Jega gets it right, or reasonably so this time around, we will advise some pharmaceutical companies to produce a drug called Jega Queen, which will be an anti-electoral uh, fraud <laughs> drug. You understand? <laughs> That's on a lighter note, but you know, just putting it uh, lightly. But it's very important that JEGA should ensure, and we should institutionalize logistic, you know, handling. It doesn't have to be given to third parties like uh, NURT that can be bought over. You know, thank God so far they have seen the mood of the nation, and of course, like uh, Malpe was uh, talking about the, the young guy who. Met, um, almost, almost met his Waterloo. <laughs> yes, he almost met it because he thought it was business as usual. Mm. The em environment has become empowered to handle such infractions, in a sense. So people should play to the rules, but Jega must ensure that he institutionalizes a process whereby the reporting of uh, electoral officers at their various destinations, you don't, you don't keep buyers waiting before you bring the product. If you know that there are buyers in your area, you must know, bring the products and put them, display them, so that when they come, they buy. The same manner, the voters should not be standing, complaining, and asking around where this should happen, and when the electoral officers who are paid to do that job are either uh, complaining that they are caught in traffic, you could have had more 99 reasons why things cannot work, 
go for that one simple percent of the reasons why things must work. Mm. You know, no, Rebecca, but, sorry yeah. to interrupt you. I was enjoying the conversation uh, as to whether or not we should employ e-voting. And I put that question online. And the response has just been very interesting. I'd like to go to Abuja to find out from a professor whether or not he believes that e-voting is the way to go and whether or not that would also help uh, you know, help secure peace uh, during the polls. Professor, if you can hear me, uh, I, thankfully he's there, and I'm sure that he can hear me. Do you think that we're right for electronic voting? Oh, well, uh, I do think that the candidate technology should be further explored um, we need to come to the table and look at the lessons learned after the elections of tomorrow. Uh, that way we will be able to assess and know cumulatively if we could move the next step to elect um, the, uh, what do you call it, the electronic um, uh, voting. For my, for from my own point of view, our situation room has reviewed uh, what happened in the last election, and I don't want to preempt the final report that we are putting together. We believe that um, uh, preliminary findings show that the card reader probably will need to be uh, further improved so that as people do their accreditation, they are also able to vote. But I mean, uh, that's the same thing. Uh, just allow me to come in here very quickly. We'll come back to you, Professor Ashita. We have to go to the break here. And Nigeria 2015 continues after now.